Let's start by creating a new project. Give a name for this project and be sure to select the HDRP template. Click Create. Wait for the project to be ready. The project is now ready. Go to Package Manager. Select Advanced Settings. Be sure, Enable Preview Packages, is activated. Go back to the Package Manager and select, Unity Registry. Scroll down to, Terrain Tools. Install, Terrain Tools, to your project. You can ignore these errors. To be sure the tool is well installed, check if, Terrain Toolbox, is displayed under, Window, Terrain. We'll use it later. Install QFX Terrain in your project from the Asset Store. QFX Terrain package is installed. You can ignore these errors. Go to QFX, Terrain, Scenes. Open Demo Scene. Get the focus on the terrain to check if all is there. Cool, all is there. Soil textures, tree scattering, and the tessellation seems to work nicely. However, there's still something to fix. Select your terrain. Select your terrain material. As you can see, the shader GUI isn't working. This is due to a limitation of the Unity HDR pipeline. Some built-in GUI features are not publicly accessible. To fix that, I created a script that inject custom shader GUI code into the Unity HDR pipeline. Go to Window, QFX, Terrain and select, Patch Layered Lit Shader GUI. Before proceeding, you'll see a message on this dialog box telling you that you'll need to help Unity to see the changes of the operation. By loosing and getting the focus of the Unity window, you'll force the asset database refresh method to be triggered properly. But it has to be done a couple of times. Let's proceed for the first time. As you can see in the console, the script invites you to minimize then maximize your editor window to force the project to be refreshed. Let's do it. Click outside your editor window. Then click back inside. Unity saw some changes and we see a couple of errors but you can ignore them. Repeat the operation one more time. Don't forget to help Unity to refresh your project by clicking outside and inside your editor window. Now select your terrain material. Cool. The GUI of the custom shader is now working nicely. We can start to play with it. Let's go to the main layer of the material and see if the tessellation parameters are working properly. Cool. Now, let's check if the painting features are still working. Go to your painting layers and select the grass. Always better to disable the trees while you are painting. Let's drop some brush strokes quickly to be sure the shader is responding properly. Cool. As you can see in the console, there are some errors when you start to paint on the terrain. I don't know how to fix this but it doesn't have any impact on the project. You can ignore these. Let's take a look at the trees. You can still use the tree painting features to remove or add trees all over your terrain. This is the end of this quick start video. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more about create a terrain from scratch and use the scattering tool, please refer to the next video on this subject.